Hi everyone and welcome to this review video of the KMX R160 versus the RF160. Both bikes real good fun. I would really recommend if you're a beginner rider to head more towards KMX R160. It's just a bit more ergonomically friendly for beginners plus it's not as jerky a throttle. The RF160 can really get it up and like do a wheelie in first gear without clutching. So if you enjoy doing wheelies then that is a, definitely the bike for you. But if you're more into the off-roading, both bikes have pretty much the same suspension. They're not too soft, not too hard, can handle the bumps fairly well without bottoming out. Even with my one with the RF160, which is registered for the road, is fairly decent on the road. Both bikes have been pretty reliable for me. Uh, just take a bit of tuning on the carb to get them set up right first time. Get them running, starting well hot and cold, which I found was the biggest problem. And just also remember to check those tapas because I found one of the bikes, the valves are lying open a slight little bit. But apart from that, just pretty bulletproof little bikes. If you're interested in top speed, I found that both bikes, the standard, seem to have top speed around about 53 miles per hour according to my sat nav on my phone. Now let's get a little walk around the bikes to let you guys see them. We'll get a listen to their engine sounds and take them out for a spin. Okay, on this CRF 160, it's got a YX160 engine, it's a fully manual four speed transmission. Uh, the forks aren't adjustable, the shark is adjustable. This bike is it's quite a sensitive throttle on this one. You can almost do a wheelie just by accelerating like that. Whereas the KMXR uh, is not like that at all. This bike is more gutsy down low. As you can see. There's the KMXR, it likes to rev out, it doesn't get as much poke down low. Yeah, good decent amount of power. It's just uh, that. It'll be slightly less user friendly than the KMXR because of the twitchy throttle. There's no problem lifting this thing first gear. Uh, it's got the standard thickness 22mm handlebar. KMXR would have a much more beefy handlebar. It's 22 out here, but it's a lot stronger than at the extension, which is better if you ever drop it. The body works pretty much the same in the two of them. This one has got a frame that comes out further around the outside. KMXR is a lot narrower. Both have the exact same brakes, exact same wheels. I would say the transmission is the same, but it's your engine identification. And they both have the VM26 McCune carb. It's a pretty decent carb, but it has to be set absolutely perfect to get it running right and get it starting right, especially. But uh, yeah, let's jump on the KMXR and see what it's like. KMXR engine, it's pretty much the same. And same power roughly, just 5cc's less, same gearing, it's just not as gutsy, I think you just want to, you'll not wheel it, it's, far, it's a lot more smoother, it's better, slightly better power top end in this uh, Zongxing 155, it just does not have any guts down low. Need 
it's tuned a little, just not going right, but it's got a lot of beefer handbars down here, which is not a bad thing. Yeah, so that's our little quick owner's review of these two bikes. I hope it was of use to you. Any questions or comments, please feel free to uh, enter them in the section below and I'll get back to you and help you as much as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.